Good morning, recruiters. It's your Diana. It's your Diana Bryant. It's your. Well. Hello, headhunters. This is your recruiter, Diana Bryant. So I'm going to try some of these podcasts weekly more um, via video because you seem to like that. And so a lot of the students I'm teaching right now are headhunters like yourself, remote women that have been working from home, have been recruiters probably for years and years. Um, many of you that haven't hit six figures, I've offered obviously my book too for free if you're part of my Headhunting Hot Bugs group um, that's talking all about how you become a retained recruiter so you can earn six figures from home on your own time, choosing clients that you love. Um, so it's fun to learn all about that. But today I want to speak about something new that I've gotten into recently this past quarter. Um, I've been doing it for all the years, 20 years as a recruiter, but um, I'm making it part of our value stack, another income stream as a recruiter, and that is career coaching. So many of you ladies probably know um, if you're ever on podcasts or if you just like listening to business or um, you know self-help entrepreneurial business stuff, um, there's a lot of coaches and advisors out there, right? And it's a booming sector. It's one of those, I think, where it used to be more under the radar, under the radar kind of um, roles or jobs, similar to recruiting. Uh, remember, recruiting was something you never really went to college for. It usually found you. Um, and that's why I brought the book, Working Home Headhunter, so people can know you can become a recruiter in any industry. What I love about it as well is that for many of us women that are more my age, I'll be turning 50 soon. And I always had the goal of wanting to be completely free. You know, I say 50 free. I wanted that at 40 free. I wanted that when I was 20. But I had a fast track path to get free, meaning, you know, freedom to me, when God's definition was to be um, financially in a place where I didn't have to work if I didn't want to, right? You have money coming in. And we all kind of go after that in different ways, whether it's through our work, whether it's investing in real estate. But I wanted to be free, right? And so I want to teach more and more women how to grow their business and become free. And coaching, um, is almost one of the simplest ways, especially for us recruiters, to add another, uh, again, uh, stream of income. And it just goes with our nature so well because we're already coaching candidates all the time. The big difference here is we want to be able to turn those candidates into paying clients of ours so we can service them a lot better um, as a client versus, again, the old way where we are just being hired at a percentage. Usually it was like for me, 30% of a first year salary for someone I find for a company. So um, that's always been obviously a great position. People still, I know, come to me wanting to learn routine recruiting. Um, I'm still doing that more in 2Q. But in 1Q, I want to be all about you adding another revenue stream because you might actually want that to be your main source of income. Um, it's an easier build. Working with candidates, you might start smaller than what you would offer to um, a corporation, but it's going to be more of a volume, volume game as well. You'll be helping a lot more candidates. And you know, as recruiters are talking to so many candidates anyway, the beauty of this, instead of having to turn candidates away that aren't a fit for the job on our desks, we make them the job on our desk. We'll say, okay, we like your background. This again, it's for client uh, candidates that we like, want to work with, want to help. A lot of times we're pulled to people we want to help, but you know, it's hard when they're not a job on our desk, right? And we can't just help people for free all day. We don't have a business. We have to, you know, honor our, our goals and our profit um, plans for the year. So by simply training them into a client and helping them see how that investment um, in themselves to work with you the same way that you had to explain it with a company, how the investment in you, they would get a better ROI. It's the same with our candidates, ladies. So they're going to get a better ROI, return on their investment in time by working with you because we're going to find the better job faster, basically, right? And make it a whole lot more fun doing it. It can be very lonely, as you know, finding a new job or going through a career shift. If you have someone holding your hand along the way and showing you the faster path, the better path, it just makes so more sense. I always say, you know, never reinvent the wheel. There's always someone else out there that's already done what you want to do or go where you want to go. Obviously, we're going to create our own spin and do something unique and be a trailblazer, you know, and make it our own. Um, but there's always another person. I always try to find women like me that are a few steps ahead of me that I can then find as mentors and follow that path. So it's true for our candidates. Um, many of them right now in the market, 2022, they might be the first time out of a job. Look at all these, you know, Twitter employees, and I mean, you name all the companies that are have been let go. And um, I'm working with clients right now that have been at the same company even for 20 years, which is often unheard of. To be alone in that process um, is really unnecessary. And the fact that you're going to get more money by working with a recruiter typically anyway, just because we're going to be able to bring more jobs to the table. If you're, you know, if our clients or candidates are at it on their own. They don't know how to find job links really quick or the easiest way to apply 
or how to make it so their resume doesn't fall in that black hole. As recruiters know how to go in the back door, how to utilize LinkedIn, utilize our network of other talent acquisition directors that we've accumulated over the past you know, 20 years, the women that I've partnered with and that are other headhunting housewives, they're across the country. There are even some over in the UK and Australia, but basically we're doing more jobs right here in America. Um, and we're able to partner with you one-on-one -on -one or as long or as short as you need us. I like a 10-week program where it's concise in a container of over a quarter. So it usually takes a little while to get ramped up and to find a job. So for any of you listening here in December, this is a very perfect time um, to go ahead and get ready to go for first quarter. That's hiring season. So that's the first thing I want to say um, is just really focus on why we want to help these candidates right now. But I want to also take this time in this podcast to take a little shift here right now. And instead of like, um, you know, focusing on people we're helping, I want to talk to my recruiters, right? So many of my uh, recruiters that I work with, a lot of the students that I'm working with right now, people that have come to me through the years um, that maybe were just under 10K, they were having a hard time hitting that, um, that number um, in their career. It's often all comes down about how do you get more clients and then how to how to ask them, you know, for more money, so to speak, right? And so I want to talk about this right now. I'll call this episode more about, you know, when you're calling clients or calling in clients. I mean, I know everything's gone on video nowadays and everything's on Messenger. And that is a beautiful thing because you can save a lot of time and speed, but you still need that one-to-one -one contact. A video like this comes in really handy. Um, if the person doesn't want to get on the phone, you can actually send information via video. But I still like um, having that person on the phone live time, whether it's a phone call on your phone, if it's a Zoom, um, you know, you can see eyeball to eyeball. There's no, no better way to um, establish trust when you're looking eye to eye to somebody. That's why even when we do video interviewings and having video resumes, um, there'll still be that face-to-face -face meeting, ideally with the company. I guess in our remote world now, people, you know, this can be eye-to-eye, -eye, can be good enough, but um, it at least needs to be face-to-face -face over like a Zoom. You can do phone calls and text messaging, but there is something to that face-to-face, -face, again, whether it's via Zoom, ideally in person, but I get it, um, to where you establish trust. Because the first thing you want to talk about when you are looking to bring on a new client or turn a candidate into a client is that you have to make sure that um, you trust each other. And that can be figured out in that first call by asking questions, right? You want to see where your client is when you talk to those. That first call should be like, well, you know, what are they needing? Let's say they're looking for a job, right? So they need help with a job. Why would they want to work with you? Um, you know, you'll go through your value stack. You'll go through your offer. And, you know, particularly for us recruiters, we're not only going to help them make sure their resume is tight and look good with a video resume link, which is really important right now. Um, using the software that we have that is excellent. Um, you know, you want to have uh, their LinkedIn looking right, but more importantly, they need a dedicated recruiter finding those jobs, bringing them to the table week to week, right? Because like everything, it's a numbers game. You know, they, the more jobs they can see that are a good fit for them, the better choice that they have. And as good executives, especially as retained recruiters, we like to have our clients have at least two offers, right? I always like my candidates when I was presenting them, even if it was to my own clients, you know, I would encourage them to go get that second offer. Often, again, I wasn't working for them. It was the corporation. But even as my offer was coming through, I'm like, get another offer. Go, don't just wait on my offer to come through. Go find another offer, whether it's on your own. Go use another recruiter, right? Because if you have two offers, you're just in a stronger negotiation position regardless. Um, and it speeds up the timeline. Sometimes a company can, you know, drag these candidates on forever. But when there's another offer out there legitimately that has a faster timeline, it speeds up the other timeline. So it just gives you more position of power. And again, these are all things us good recruiters know from 5, 10, 15, you know, 20 years like me of working with people, placing them in jobs. You go through all of this process. Again, often it's like a 10, 12 week process that the end is negotiating, getting them started, getting them on board. We see what goes wrong. We see what's important to figure out up front. And this is all of the value that we offer to any candidate that becomes our client. So I think the first thing, ladies, when you're thinking about how to call in new clients and what that maybe phone call is like, or if it's a Zoom call and talking with them, it's going to be really brief, about a 15, 20 minute call for me usually, because it's a free intro if they were refer referred to me. And, you know, I think referrals are everything because there's already a trust built when someone is referred to you. At Kaplan Exec Search, I would say for 90% of all of our clients are referred. Um, we don't do any outbound um, to this date. We haven't done any advertising. And so, um, and same is true for me. I do a little bit now with this podcast, a little bit um, with Facebook. I'm trying to find more women executives or women recruiters, but otherwise everything has been referred in. Um, and again, it takes time to get there. Like if you're brand new to the game, that's not going to happen right away. But 
the more testimonials you get and the um, the more you just get better at your craft, then people will hear about you, they'll refer you. And we even incent that. I believe I incent everything. When people used to refer me in recruiting, if I placed them, I would give the referral party a thousand dollars, one K check, right? I would write those checks. Other recruiters thought that was too much, but I'm like, you know, we had that candidate that wasn't referred. It's like people that complain about taxes, you're not gonna, I mean, you're paying that big tax and you just made a lot of money, right? So I get it. It's hard to see that big expense, but remember, that's a good thing. I like writing those big checks because it means you just receive more money. So again, just a little point there in referrals, a little tidbit about getting referrals brought into you. Um, but yeah, so it's really doesn't become when you're calling clients and it's not, you don't want to be salesy, right? So it's not really a sales call. You have to think about, can I help them? How can I help them? And you're explaining that to them. Like, this is what I want to do for you. Um, this is what I've done for other customers. You know, get some testimonials out there. I myself even haven't done video testimonials yet. I'm going to start doing that this week. In fact, I have a call tomorrow. So I would tell all of your crews out there that are building your business, maybe you want to become a career coach. Um, if you want to go along with me and follow my lead, um, get some video testimonials um, as you're closing deals for your candidates and clients right now. So, um, but that's basically what the call will be about. That is how you'll kind of overcome objections. That way it won't be like, well, how much is the, you know, it's all about price. It really depends on what we're helping them with and how that a lot of these things, even if they could do it on their own, we're going to give them that seed to have it be all done faster. And then chances are, again, we're going to have jobs on that hot job list for them that we'll do weekly um, that they would have never even known about without using us because they're just not as efficient in navigating the whole job hunt world like we are. We live and breathe it as recruiters. So I think if you really stand in your value or you know where you bring stuff to the table, it's bad word stuff, but if you know, you're bringing the value to the table that they wouldn't have without you as a partner, um, it's going to be a lot easier for you to then sell yourself, so to speak, on that call or have them invest with you because it's a time investment. You're going to do it together and it'll be successful. It'll also be fun. It won't be, you know, drudgery like a lot of people have to go through when they're on the job hunt. It can be just, you know, um, excruciating, right? So, so many of our clients right now tell us how happy they are working with us as a team. You know, weekly, we keep them on track. We keep them positive. We're helping them with interview tips with a virtual interview. They can practice with us. Um, over whether it's Kaplan Advisory or our Headhunting Housewives, depending upon what part of your career or job level it is. Um, but I hope this is helpful, again, for all of you looking to become career coaches or needing career coaching and how you can work with a headhunter or a headhunting housewife or a Kaplan career advisor, you know, whatever level you are to get that dedicated partner to work with you. And it'll be the best investment you made in yourself because you're going to get $1,000 again more on the back of that better job, getting it faster, so that's whether it's a salary coming in or that career change, getting that first client, however we're going to help you, it's going to happen faster, easier, quicker, and more fun. So I hope that is helpful on this Monday. Today is 12-12-2022, um, guys, here in Christmas, the first day of Advent, right? So um, I hope you really enjoy this week. It is a Monday. Um, so I had that great Monday mindset. I'm adding a little bit of uh, not only Monday mindset to my calls with you ladies that are working with me direct, but also marketing Monday is right because those of you that are working and students of mine, um, you know, you're digging in and you're getting your goals set up for 2023 and you're not kidding around. So Mondays are now marketing Mondays as well as mindset. Um, so go out there and market yourself, ladies. Find those great candidates and clients that are needing your help so you can help them. And um, I'm here for any future questions or, or any advice you need. Talk to you soon. Bye.